All right, welcome once again. Today we'll be changing the Vanos actuator on my F30 BMW 328i. We've been getting an error message in the iDrive system stating drivetrain malfunction. When we check the error, it's stating that it's over retarded on the exhaust side. Now we've done all the elimination, switched around the, the solenoids, switched around the cam sensors. And we've now um, realized now that there's actually an issue with the Vanus unit. When you first start it in the mornings, or if it has been sitting for a while and you start it, you will feel the engine make a little jerk. Um, the Vanus actuator actually has a locking pin in it that um, tends to stick sometimes, and that is what is happening here. So what we'll be doing now, we'll be changing the unit. The unit isn't so isn't a serviceable unit, so we'll purchase a new one and then replace that. I have the new one purchased already so we'll just be pulling down, taking off the valve cover. We'll have to lock the camshaft again in order to change the Vanus unit. Alright so I went ahead and removed the trim pieces and also the valve cover. So what we're replacing now will be this unit here which will seem to be defective. Now we're going to get the timing tool and we're going to time the engine, catch the camshaft back at TDC and also lock it so we can remove the bolt here that holds the unit in place. So we've got the timing tool in place, this is the camshaft locking tool, engine is at TDC and we're going to remove this bolt now to get this out. But in order to get this out now, we'll need to remove the chain tensioner here, which is um, a 24 millimeter socket. In order to reach that, you will have to get the turbo actuator out of the way, as well as the cam sensor. You'll need to get it out of the way also. Now when, you, when that is removed now, we'll get some slack on the chain, keeping tension on the chain to, and in order to not let it slip or anything. I'm going to take this out from tilted towards the bottom and then lift it out and then you're going to put in the new one. Alright, so bolt removed. So now to get this out we'll have to pull it and tilt it out. But I need both hands for that and then we'll have to put in the new one is going in this way, put it in so get it around the chain and over the, the camshaft. Need both hands to do this, so I'm gonna have to do this off camera and, and show you the finished results. Okay, so took out the hold and new one has been inserted and now to get back there valve and bolt aka bolt back in place now this um, you screw it in just enough for it to hold and when it's snug enough you're going to um, retighten the tensioner, which is 80 newton meters, and then the same 24 millimeter socket. You're going to tighten this to 55 newton meters and then 55 degrees. So I installed the timing kit and it lines up properly with the alignment tool. This goes right in here. There's a hole in there that it goes right in. And they both go in to ensure that the engine is timed properly. And now we're gonna tighten it using the 24 millimeter socket and torque wrench, 55 Newton meters and then 55 degrees. So bolt has now been tightened to spec and just to reassure that these are, are in the uh, positioned in the holes on the thing is properly aligned. So now using 
27 millimeter socket now. We're going to tighten the chain tensioner, 80 newton meters. And then after that, it's just reassembly, put, putting on back the valve cover and all the components, and then give it a test start.